Welcome to CSE Guru. Next, we will move on to the next algorithmic design technique that is backtracking technique. There are two techniques to solve large instances of difficult combinatorial problems. So, here combinatorial problems are nothing but problems that provide solutions by grouping, ordering or assigning a value. So, there are two techniques to solve this difficult combinatorial problems. One is backtracking, second one is branch and bound technique. Both the techniques follows the brute force approach strategy. So, what do you mean by brute force approach? Brute force approach will try all the possible solutions. What are all the possible solutions for the given problem? It will consider all the possible solutions. Finally, it will pick the desired one that satisfies the problem constraint. Both this backtracking and branch and bound technique works under this brute force approach only. Okay. And both the techniques are based on the construction of state space tree. So, state space tree is nothing but initially we have to consider the initial state for the given problem. With this initial state, try all the possible solutions. Okay. By constructing each level. And try to find the feasible solution. So, both the techniques will work based on the construction of the state space tree. And both the techniques will terminate if there is no guaranteed solution by considering its dissonant. If you are considering its dissonant, if it provides the solution, it will continue. Otherwise, by considering its dissonant, if it does not provide a feasible solution, it won't consider or it won't continue this level. Okay. So, this is nothing but backtracking and branch and bound technique. And backtracking, if you are considering in the sense, it will try to provide only the feasible solution, not optimization solution. Backtracking, we cannot able to implement for the optimization problems. But branch and bound technique will try to provide the solution for the optimization problems. So, what is backtracking? Backtracking is a systematic method of searching solution to combinatorial problems. Combinatorial problems are very difficult to solve. Okay, by implementing this backtracking technique only, we can able to provide a feasible solution for this combinatorial problems. And also, the problems with exponential time complexity, it is very difficult to provide solution. So, these kind of problems also can be easily solved by implementing the backtracking technique. So, here, the idea of backtracking technique is select one component at a time. That is, initially, it will start with the initial state or initial solution okay so here select one component at a time and this will be considered as a partially constructed solution okay and with this partially constructed solution if it is able to provide a feasible solution without violating the problem constraint in the sense continue so each state here if you are considering in the sense that will be a partially constructed solution and we are trying to provide the complete feasible solution. If it is able to provide the feasible solution by considering the problem constraint, continue. Suppose, if this partially constructed solution, if it is not able to provide a feasible solution by considering its dissonant, by considering its dissonant, suppose here we have reached a dead end. Further, we cannot able to proceed. So, this level does not provide a feasible solution. If that is the case, that is, if this partially constructed solution does not able to provide a legitimate solution by considering its dissonant, then backtrack to the previous step or previous level, okay, or previous state and try with the other possible solutions. Suppose, this also is not able to provide a feasible solution, backtrack to the previous state, okay, and try the other possibilities. Likewise, we have to implement and try to provide the feasible solution. Okay. So, if the partially constructed solution is able to provide a legitimate solution by considering the problem constraint, then continue. Suppose if the partially constructed solution does not able to provide a solution by considering its dissonant or next level component, backtrack to the previous level and try the other possibilities. So, this is nothing but backtracking technique. And this backtracking technique can be implemented by constructing the state space tree. So, what is state space tree? In state space tree, root represents the initial state. So, this will be considered as the root. This is the initial state. Okay. So, initially, state space tree start with the initial state. Then, consider the first level components. So, here, the first level nodes in the tree represents the choices made for the 
first component of a solution. So, this is the first component of a solution. Next, consider the second level component of a solution. Likewise, we can consider any level. But, by considering the next level, it should provide a feasible solution. Okay? So, likewise, we can consider any level. Okay? And here, there are two types of nodes in state space to be. One is promising node and another one is non-promising node. So, promising node is nothing but node correspond to a partially constructed solution that may still lead to a complete solution. So, if you are considering its dissonant, that is next level component, it will try to provide a complete solution in the sense continue. This will be considered as a promising node. Suppose, if the node does not proceed to provide a solution or it's a dead end in the sense. If you are proceeding this level in the sense, it does not able to provide a solution or it reached a dead end. That is, further we cannot able to consider the next level component. Okay. So, that is nothing but dead end. So, if it reached the dead end or it cannot able to provide the complete solution in the sense, this will be considered as a non-promising node. Suppose, if this level you are considering and it provides a solution, Okay, it provides a solution in the sense, these and all will be considered as the promising nodes. Promising node in the sense, node corresponds to a partially constructed solution that may still lead to a complete solution in the sense, that is considered as a promising node. And a non-promising node in the sense, node that does not proceed to provide the solution or it reaches the dead end. Further, we cannot able to proceed. That is nothing but the non-promising node. And the leaves, if you are considering in the sense, it may be either a non-promising node. So, this if it reaches the dead end in the sense, this is a non-promising node. Or it provides a complete solution. This leaf represents the node with the complete solution. And this leaf represents the non-promising node. Okay. So, there are two types of leaf nodes. Either it may be a non-promising node or it provides a complete solution. So, state space tree, if you are considering in the sense, initially it will start with the initial state solution. Then try to provide the next level component that proceed to provide the solution. Again, if it is possible, consider the next level component and consider the next level components. Likewise, we have to consider. And each level, if you are considering in this, this will be considered as a partially constructed solution that may still lead to provide the feasible solution. Okay. And when it reached here, if you are considering in this, it is a dead end. Okay, further if you are proceeding in the sense, it will not provide a solution. That is called a dead end and that is nothing but the non-promising node. If you are proceeding that particular node to the next level and if it still leads to provide the solution in the sense, that will be considered as a promising node. So, these levels and all, if you are considering in the sense, that is promising nodes. Here, up to this, this is a promising node only because we are having choice to consider the next level component. So, up to this, this is also a promising node. This is also a promising node. This is also a promising node. So, when it reached the dead end, further we cannot able to provide and does not able to consider the next level component in the sense that is nothing but the non-promising node. It is not necessary that level has to provide a solution. Promising node is nothing but by considering this particular node, we can able to consider the next level component in the sense that is a promising node. Okay, so this is a promising node, this is a promising node, this is a promising node and this is non-promising because by considering this partially constructed solution, we cannot able to proceed to the next level. Okay, so this is nothing but the state space tree and this state space tree is constructed by considering the depth first search, DFS. So here, with the help of the partially constructed solution, it will try to provide the next depth level node. It will consider the next level component downward. Suppose if it reached the dead end, then only it will backtrack to the previous level. It will backtrack to the previous level and consider the other possibilities. Until if you are considering one particular node in the sense, consider its next level component, next level component. Likewise, we need to consider until... Either it provides a solution or it reached a dead end. If it reached a dead end in the sense, backtrack to the previous level and consider the other possibilities. In this level also, if it reached a dead end in the sense, backtrack to the previous level. Likewise, we need to consider. Okay. So, this is nothing but backtracking concept and this can be implemented with state space tree DFS search. So, in backtracking, finally, if the algorithm reaches a complete solution to the problem, it either stops or continues searching for the other possible solution. So, here if you are considering, it may be a solution. 
and if you are considering this level also it may provide a solution more than one solution is possible in backtracking it will consider all the possible feasible solutions okay not only one solution is possible here more than one solution is possible so this is the backtracking technique thank you for watching this video